Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard, episode 83, with me, Kuga, and you, the awesome viewers. In the last episode, we did the Team RTG, we got our Braun Strowman pro and I showed you guys a little bit of how I was doing in my King of the Ring. So, King of the Ring update, um, doing pretty well, we've only got a couple more games to go, uh, so I should be okay, I shouldn't be asleep, it's only 4.30 in the afternoon, 2 in the morning, something like that, I don't know, we'll see when it gets done. Um, so I am top seed, I should be, I should go, I should be top seed till the end of it now, like at this point, if we get the win here, we'll have four games, I mean four, three, three tough ones, and then uh, an easier one at the end, but yeah, let's, we definitely want to finish first. Uh, do I play Dark Moon or Solo? Sorry, uh, s uh, yeah, I play uh, both of them, okay. Interesting, it's not, well, I don't know what I said, Stone Solo, I don't know what I said, Stone Cold is his name. So I'm playing both of those in the next couple games, so hopefully we win. Apart from that guys, what else do we have? We have got the preview of the RTG featuring Jack Gallagher, the pro Jack Gallagher obviously. So, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got Ultra Rare Dolph Ziggler, Epic John Cena, a Legendary Bray Wyatt, Survivor, Stone Cold Steve Austin, WrestleMania Devon Dudley, SummerSlam Nia Jax, Harden Dean Ambrose, which is actually quite a cool picture. Like, uh, the pic, it, look, it looks like it suits him. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool, actually. Um, the Elite is Kevin Owens. Which is not a pro. Well, I mean, I've already pro the Kevin. I've already got an. I already had an. So this doesn't help me out at all, catalog wise. Uh, Chris Jericho, I've got a pro of him already. So that is a bit. Um, you know, again, doesn't help me out. Just like in the team uh, RTG, the Elite and the Ultimate were just things that didn't help me out at all. And then obviously the Jack Gallagher, which we obviously will be getting in this uh, RTG. Because I really want the Jack Gallagher Pro. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, let's get a bit of gameplay in here. This is going to be a really short video. One of my shortest. But you know what? Daily supercar videos. Sometimes there'll be uh, things to show. And sometimes there just won't be that much content. Because there isn't anything really to show. Uh, RTG, I will be obviously starting tomorrow. You guys will see that in episode 84. As well as my... As well as my rewards from King of the Ring. If I get... Anything less than two elite cards, I will not do it on camera. If it's just one elite card and I get core bumped, I just won't bother showing that. And I'll tell you who I got the the next day, uh, well, on the on the next episode. But if we get the two elites, or if we manage to get ourselves into second place, which we honestly should be able to, um, then I'll show you guys my ultimate pool, and hopefully we get an Alexa Bliss or an AJ Styles. Those are the two cards that I really want right now, or Nakamura. Is another one I'd really want. One of those three uh, is 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 what I want. One of those three, yeah. Or Jey Uso, Xavier Woods, Biggie. An ultimate card I've never got before is pretty much what I'm trying to say there. But anyway, money in the bank, guys. I can get myself one Bray Wyatt at this point if I want to. I will wait and see what the next batch of rewards are before cashing in. If then, if if there's no new tier by then. And I don't like the picture or the wrestler more than I do like this Bray Wyatt. I will go for the Bray Wyatt because I really like the picture. And I think it's really, I really want it, you know. I really, really want it. But if the next ones are really cool, because I probably, I won't be able to get a pro Bray. I'd only be able to get one because uh, I'd, I'd have to get like oh, more than 1,000 contracts a day. And I just can't keep up with that. I mean, I'm going to be playing. Just no way will I hold uh, that schedule of getting more than 1,000 contracts a day. So there's no point even me trying. There is something else I wanted to talk to you guys about, and we also need to review SmackDown really quickly. But before we do, let me quickly talk about um, 2K17. So it's been over two weeks. Well, no, it's about to be two weeks since I've uploaded my last episode, which seems absolutely insane. And I really will start getting those videos out for you guys more often, as well as WWE Champions. But I don't know, it's just been a struggle recently. You know, I've, I've just been doing a lot of Supercard. I've been. Like I, I was obviously really into Supercard when season three came out, and then it kind of dipped um, a tiny bit afterwards. And then I'm slowly getting really back into it. To be fair, like this Jack Gallagher card is awesome. I'm I'm finding interest in Money in the Bank again, and um, and I just want to get good cards and really like play a lot of Supercard and just do really well on the game overall. 
Um, like the British Bulldog car back on the Royal Rumble. God, I won that so much. Uh, you know, I'm British, obviously. That and that, having that on a car back would be so cool. Um, it, I would love it, absolutely love it. But if, obviously, I'm not going to get it. It's a lot and a lot and a lot of trophies to get on. But maybe one day. But right now, I'm not. I'm still on the John Cena car back, and I'm only on like six thousand nine hundred trophies on there. So, or what trophies, whatever you guys want to call them. Another 40 contracts in our Money Bank game. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, SmackDown really quickly, guys. Let's go over the main talking points, which is... Um, John Cena, Miz, Promo, Maurice, Nikki Bella, all of that. Great. Honestly, I enjoyed every second of it. It went on for a long time, but I found it, I found it interesting and funny. I think John Cena was great in it. I think, you know, I, I really, uh, really hope Miz... Comes out on top of, at the end of this feud. I don't see that happening, but I really would like Miz to end up on top at the end of this, knowing that John Cena will be leaving. I think after Mania uh, and before SummerSlam. Um, Becky versus Mickey in a three out of fours match. I just can't complain. You know, uh, Becky Lynch got the win at the end, but it was just overall again a solid match. Like getting, getting I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm very happy with what the like female um, wrestling for SmackDown and kind of Raw, but I, I would say SmackDown more, even though there's so much potential and so many amazing people over on Raw, the SmackDown, SmackDown roster, female roster, just seems more open, more people are getting stories, and, and it just seems better, they're using everybody, and I really enjoyed that 3 out 4s match as well. Uh, AJ Styles versus Luke Harper, so AJ got the win, but Luke, Harper le leg, le Luke Harper's leg was on the rope. All of that, anyway, AJ Styles ended up by winning that. Shane and Matt came out, a little bit of tension there between AJ and Shane. Uh, Luke Harper accidentally kicks Shane in the face. Uh, and overall, yeah, like, it's like, the you know, uh, storyline is, is advancing. It seems interesting. I'd like, I, I, you know, I want to I wanna see where this, this, this goes to, you know. Are we going to see AJ versus Bray versus Randy? Or are we going to see AJ versus Shane? And Luke Harper versus Bray versus Randy. Will we only see Bray versus? Who knows? I'm interested to see what we're gonna get. Um, next week on Raw, we got James Ellsworth and Carmella versus John Cena and Nikki. I'm gonna be intrigued for that match because it's just gonna be funny, I think. And then the biggest thing I've seen in wrestling, and the biggest end to a show, and the biggest kind of twist, like that we all knew was coming, but I didn't expect it to be like this. It was fantastic. And on, on the whole, SmackDown blew Raw, like, absolutely blew it out of the water, out of, of the universe. Like, Raw was, was shit compared, like, Raw was like Titus O'Neil, and SmackDown was like Kurt Angle and AJ Styles' love child. Like, oh, SmackDown was great, honestly. SmackDown was amazing, but Randy Orton burns down Bray Wyatt's cabin sanctuary you know sister abigail all of that um a fire well, what a what an amazing end that wasn't really pg and i absolutely loved every second of it and bray wyatt is looking like the face and is turning slowly but is going to be babyface i think going into his feud against randy orton so i'm very interested to see this overall an amazing episode of smile on as i said thank you guys so much for watching this episode of wwe supercard i hope you guys have enjoyed it. if you have leave a like tell me what you guys thought about Randy Orton um, turning kind of heel, I would say it's turning heel. You know, tell me what you guys think about it, but tell me, tell me what you guys think about overall what happened and what Randy Orton did. Um, it, it was it was very interesting to see Bray uh, react to it. We've never really seen him that vulnerable and in that much of a, you know, normally when he loses or he, you know, no matter what, he's always like thinking he's got the win and just always, you know, not really. We don't really see him in that vulnerable position, but he really did look um, absolutely distraught on SmackDown about what Randy did, and it looks really good. Definitely, at this point, I would say Bray is the face. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. So then, take care and peace out. Bye.